See what happens when you go shooting at people without permission in that way. Well, we all knew, including Tony Blundetto, that that would happen if he did what he did. But do you think Tony Soprano handled it correctly? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll dig into it right now. And now, for practical reasons, uh, his decision seems pretty obvious. You either deliver that prick to my door, or I will rain a shitstorm down on you and your family like you have never fucking seen. We're done here. But this doesn't take into account that. So when I was a kid, guys like me were brought up to follow codes. So what about those codes? Um, now his claim to be a quote-unquote strict Catholic is clearly out the window here, but what about the code of the Mafia? Did he do the right thing according to the code of the Mafia? And I think he did. I'll tell you why. Now it's easy to point at one decent real-life parallel as proof that Tony should have just handed his cousin over. Um, Angelo Rogerio in real life had tapes that Paul Castellano wanted, but he didn't want to turn them over because he knew his friends would be hurt. Um, in a meeting with him, John Gotti, and Anelio Delacroach, Anelio Delacroach kind of schooled him on the rules of the mob. I'm going to tell you something. If you two never bother with me again, again the rest of my life, I ain't giving up that stuff. I can't. I can't. And Johnny Sack was boss. And what did Johnny Sack want? What do you, what do you want, John? What do you want to say? I want your cousin on a fucking spit. But here's the thing, Tony is also boss, so how does that work when it's in between different families? Um, another close parallel in real life explains why I think Tony actually handled appropriately. After an attempt on Anthony Gaspipe Casso, uh, he was furious and he was looking for who did it. He came across a Gambino associate named Jimmy Heidel that he thought might have some answers. Uh, now Heidel, like Tony Blundetto, was not made, only an associate. Um, yet here's how Gambino underboss uh, at the time, uh, Sammy the Bull Gravano, felt about it after some of the Gambino soldiers went to see Heidel while he was in captivity by Casso and then reported back on the situation. I talked to them a little bit myself, and I said, was the kid tortured? Not that we could see. No. And he told you this whole story. Yeah. That kid was with us. Why didn't you walk out with him? They had him tied up. I mean, what do, you, what do you want us to do? Say, if this kid did it, and whoever did it, there's proof to it, we will kill them. They belong to us, not gas pipe. You don't have any idea what the fuck they must have did to this kid after you guys walked out. 
so according to that line of reasoning, Tony Soprano did exactly what he was supposed to. It was within his family, and he took care of it. And just like Sammy the Bull knew exactly what would happen, Tony knew exactly what would happen because Johnny Sack made it abundantly clear. I want your promise it'll be quick. I'm not going to lie to you, Tony. I don't have to. Bill's going to do it. And he'll do it his way. It's just me now. Come on. Anything else? Look. Thanks for watching this episode on Soprano Street. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more upcoming videos.